So that's why when I say if we can, if you can image it, you can hit it. But look, if you look at the, if you look at the CT, it's very hard to think that you can image it. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important to combine to both images. Co combine modalities. So here we have the MR. And here we have a combination of the two, and you can see that. One you don't hmm. see it, one you do. <laughs> so, wow. so it's very impressive uh, technology. So, uh, you know, imaging and, and and just the idea of it matching the, the the anatomy so well, it's pretty fantastic. So now we'll go to the plan, and we'll go to evaluate. Wow. And here's an example of one where we had about a hundred beams. Wow. Okay. So the beams are the are the light blue ones. Mm -hmm. The dark blue ones are beams that could have been delivered mm -hmm. but weren't. And the red ones are, are beams that we ruled out for some reason. For example, beams that go through directly through the eyes we'll rule out because we don't want to do retinal damage. Mm -hmm. But you can see that we have all these beams. Each one does a little bit of damage as it goes through, but they're all converging on this lesion that's in the back of the head. Now, is this 100 beams in one in, in, in uh, one treatment, or is this over many treatments? This is in one treatment. Uh -huh. the, basically, the robot moves the linear accelerator to point in this, this direction, mm -hmm. and the points in this direction delivers its beam. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to the next direction, gets here, aims, wow. shoots, gets here, aims, shoots. So it takes a little while to do, you know, it's, it's not a fast procedure.